In this video, we will talk about the number of ATPs and the NADH formed in the glycolysis pathway. At the beginning of the glycolysis pathway, two ATPs are consumed. The first ATP is consumed during conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. During this process, 1-phosphate is added to glucose and for this addition of the phosphate, 1 ATP is used. The second ATP consumption occurs to convert fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Here, another phosphate group is being added and another ATP is being consumed. Now, from fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, two molecules will be formed. One is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the other is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. And eventually, the dihydroxyacetone phosphate will be converted to the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Now, these two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate will go further in this process. In glycolysis pathway, two molecules of NADH are produced. One NADH is produced during conversion of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate into 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate so, from 2 glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, we get 2 NADH. Now, it is the time to produce the ATPs. So, total 4 number of ATPs are produced in the glycolysis pathway. 1 ATP is formed during conversion of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate into 3-phosphoglycerate. And 2 ATPs total are formed by this conversion as 2 molecules are present. Now, the second phase of ATP production occurs when phosphoenol pyruvate, that is PEP, PEP, is converted into pyruvate. During conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate into pyruvate, another pair of ATPs are produced, one from one phosphoenol pyruvate and another from another phosphoenol pyruvate molecule. So, total number of ATP produced in this pathway is 4. But the gain of ATP is 2 as 2 ATPs were consumed during the initial phase of glycolysis. Now let's mention the enzymes. First enzyme is hexokinase in the consumption of ATP and second is phosphofractokinase during the second ATP consumption. And the first NADH production, the enzyme is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase in both the cases of NADH production and in the case of ATP production, the first ATP production that is from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to 3-phosphoglycerate is the phosphoglycerate kinase and in case of both the molecules phosphoglycerate kinase enzyme and in case of conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate the enzyme is pyruvate kinase.